Hello friends, so I think this is the uh, seventh question related to block diagram reduction. So this is the block diagram here in black, uh, the question. And uh, here we are going to make the changes in this uh, blue portion, okay? So here, as we do in all the previous questions related to block diagram, you have to pick a portion where you think you can apply the block diagram reduction rules. Okay. So here you see that there is no uh, takeoff point in between. Okay. In any of these portions, there is only one takeoff point here, one takeoff point here. Shifting them will make no difference. Okay, it will only complicate things. Okay, so here if you pay attention to this uh, summer, this summing point and this block G1. So here we can take this uh, summing point here ahead of this block. Okay, so for that we have to apply the basic uh, rule of uh, block diagram reduction if you see it happens like this suppose we have a summing point and we have a block G the inputs are say this is A this is B minus plus this so it is A minus B here and this here becomes A G minus bg okay this this is the situation here here g is g1 and this is the summing point here it is a here it is b now here what we want to do we want to take this summing point here and this g here so for that what will happen the situation will be like this this g then we have the summing point here this bottom input it will move along with the summing point here it is a g minus b here it is this one is the value becomes a g a g minus b this b g portion is missing so for that what we'll do we will multiply this b with g this g block will introduce here so this will also become bg and this will become ag minus bg so the same thing we'll do here here it is a minus b and here it is ag1 minus bg1 so when we shift it here this b will remain alone so for that we have to introduce a g1 block here a g1 block here so we'll make the necessary changes so let us erase this portion okay so here it will be g1 and here is the summing point this is plus this is minus so here what we have to do here it is h1 here we have to introduce a g1 block okay this here we have introduced a g1 block this this is the simplification process again g1 and h1 okay this this is the whole thing okay this now here g1 and h1 they are in cascade so this will become g1 h1 
So simply we have taken G1 behind and we multiplied G1 here as per this thing, this mechanism. Again, here if we interchange these two summing points, interchange their positions, again this will become more and more simple to apply block diagram reduction rule because we will get uh, two for forward path blocks here and here there will be a negative feedback path if we shift it here. So interchanging of summers is done like this, the mechanism let me show you. So interchange of summers it means, let me show you the basic mechanism then we will apply it. Suppose there are two summing points like this. We will do this as per this thing. Okay. Plus. This is minus. Here it is plus. Let's say. Here also it is plus. Let this be A. This be B. This be C. So here it is A minus B, the final output A minus B and here it is A minus B plus C. The final output is A minus B plus C. So when we interchange the position of the two summers, it should be done in such a way that the final output should remain unchanged. No matter what you do, you can make all the changes you want but the output should remain undisturbed. It should not change, it should not fluctuate. So here we want to bring this summer into this position and this summer into this position. So let us do that. A okay plus and this you know this input moves along with the summer. So this is plus. So here it is A plus C. Next we have this summer. This is plus. The input moves along with it. So it is minus B. So it is A plus C minus B. Which is the same thing. A minus B plus C, A plus C minus B. Same thing. So this is how we will interchange the summing points here. So what will happen? Simply let us change it here without doing much uh, changes to it here. So here it will be it will become here. This will be plus and this will become plus again here it is G1 H1 this will become plus this is minus so we have interchanged the positions okay now you see this G1 and G2 they are in forward path two forward path blocks so they will get added up because it is plus and plus here so they will get added up when two blocks are in the forward path they simply get added okay like this this whole thing will get replaced by this G1 plus G2 thing okay so we'll do that so here this whole thing will become G1 plus G2 this whole thing and this is a negative feedback path okay G by 1 plus GH so here this is G this is H so this will become this will become G3 by 
वन प्लस जी वन जी थ्री एच वन ओके दिस दिस विल बिकम दिस सो दिस होल ब्लॉक दिस होल थिंग विल गेट रिप्लेस बाय जी थ्री बाय वन प्लस जी वन जी थ्री एच वन ओके यस अगेन दीज टू ब्लॉक्स आर इन कैस्केड दीज टू ब्लॉक्स आर इन कैस्केड सो द फाइनल थिंग विल बी G1 वन प्लस जी टू इंटू जी थ्री बाय वन प्लस जी वन जी थ्री एच वन दिस इज द फाइनल सिंप्लीफाइड रिजल्ट ओके द ट्रांसफर फंक्शन सी बाय R C by R G one plus G two into G three by one plus G one G three H one. Okay.